Hello everyone, I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the new Gems of War Mythic of the Takashaka that we're definitely going to be calling the Takashaka for the rest of this video as well as forever. It is in the Glory Gem Guild and VIP chest drop table for the rest of this week and then it'll be in the drop table with everything else. So as far as this mythic is concerned, it is pretty interesting. Uh, has a wild card mechanic, quite literally. It creates a three times wild card when its turn begins, not to be confused with three wild cards, but one singular three times wild card. Uh, they can be in two times, three times, and five times variants, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, they count as every single color, well, except for skull. Uh, but you know, of the six standard colors, it counts as all six of them. It will very commonly get matched as it's applied to the board. If for nothing else, you'll probably be able to take it for four times or a five times. Though sometimes it will just be sitting there and you'll only be able to take it for a three or even nothing if there's enough skulls next to it. Uh, but definitely benefits from there being less skulls overall on the board. Uh, it can also stack, of course, so if you have two of them on your team, it'll do two. If you have three, it's three. And, of course, you could also just use it simply with other wild card mechanics. So we are going a bit more of the true damage route with a lot of these teams we're going to be showing during this video. As we're going to be going over uh, three teams as we normally do, key opening, all that good stuff. As far as uh, what it does is its ability, it's probably less relevant for its ability. As something pretty similar to Vinoxia, but distributes its damage a little bit differently. So it deals a bunch of true damage to an enemy and then to a random enemy. The amount of true damage it has is very comparable to that of Megavore, uh, which is another my mythic of pretty similar mana costs, except Megavore also has a four times armor tier, whereas this basically just gets to hit twice. Uh, one you get to choose, the other one is a completely random enemy. But this does mean if there's only one enemy remaining, it will double hit whatever's left. And that thing is super dead based on how much magic it has. Uh, it's basically doing two times its magic damage, or yeah, two times its magic plus four, I believe it is. And it ends up creating a mix of blue and green, so it can go either more into one than the other. It's very comparable to that of Vinoxia, which does a standard 9-9, nine, nine, uh, which is, will always do nine of both. However, this does uh, 20, but it can be a uh, mix of both, so it could be 11 blue, 9 green, so on and so forth. It's not always going to be a perfect 10-10 necessarily, which can be helpful, can be detrimental. Obviously, if there's a ton of green on the board, it ends up creating like 15 blue. That's not good, <laughs> uh, but generally speaking, it is better to have more of one concentration than the other, so doing a mix is actually going to be more beneficial to it compared to otherwise. Uh, it does use blue, which is pretty relevant, uh, compared to Vinoxia, which uses green. Um, it actually has no color overlap with Vinoxia, making it really good synergy with the troop from its own kingdom. Uh, Vinoxia is a yellow-purple for 16 mana cost, and this thing is a blue-red-yellow for 26, so it ends up using blue, which it feeds back into itself and uses the green to go into Vinoxia. And Vinoxia does the same thing with green and blue, and the blue feeds back into this with Vinoxia uh, going back into its own mana. So it's some really good synergy with his own kingdom and really curious to see how that pans out in any kind of future Mist of Scales event. As Mist of Scales has a really solid synergy now. You just put a Merilith on there, get all your mana accumulation, then you just go into Vinoxia, into Takashaka, and you're good to go. And it's really all you need. And then you just have one fourth troop for a flex spot if you need to put like a journey troop there or whatever else. Kind of madness we'll have to put there in the future. But um, yeah, it works out really well. Anyways, let's go into our key opening. Uh, so uh, we will be going for more than one. We will be going for more than two. We are going to be going for three of these guys. So uh, let's see if we are to start spamming 200 and see if we can get... <laughs> no way! <laughs> well then, uh, we'll take our double instantly. We did open 200, but uh, well, that's pretty convenient since we're going for more than one. <laughs> but uh, as I said... Um, before we got cut off, we are going for three, so let's keep going. Can we get another double, please? Please? Oh, come on. You're, oh, now we're going to go so dry on the other one. Oh, no, there we go. Wow. 600 keys for three and two within uh, 200. Not bad at all. Uh, wow, wow, wow. All right, well, we just... Uh, that is not normal drop rate. <laughs> it would take about 3,000 approximately on average to get that many. And we just got all three within 600, possibly even less, but we went the quicker route and went 200 at a time. Wait, we're in global chart right now. It should just be spammed. Oh, it only shows... Oh, no, no, it does show I got a double. Look at that. <laughs> it shows we got our double pull, and there's the other one right over there. Uh, literally, global chat one right now is just a wall of text of people getting the mythic. I don't normally show that, but yeah, it's pretty much every Friday mythic uh, in a nutshell. Uh, for any of you who don't know, of course, uh, every first Friday of the month is uh, when we actually get these mythics. And since we had a uh, leap year, well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered if we had the leap day of the leap year or not. But, <laughs> uh, of course, it's the uh, first of the month, March 1st today. So we had a mythic today. But anyways, it's always the first Friday of every month. But anyways, let's go get this thing upgraded. Let's go and, um, yeah, see what it could do. 
see what this thing can do. Of course, we're just going to orbit. Uh, make this nice and quick. Here, I have a green orb. Do I accidentally click your power orb? Uh, honestly, I'm going to immediately fully le elite level this. Uh, even if we're not necessarily always using it for its ability. Because honestly, I don't feel like its ability is going to be the main aspect. Uh, it feels like it's going to be used a lot more for its final trait. But I am going to go to elite level it. Uh, one other way that we can get this extra stats, which I'm not sure if I'm going to bother going for, is uh, to do actually have, of course, the Legends Reborn event going on right now. And with that Legends Reborn, we do have a pet. Uh, be mindful that you do not need to spend money to get this pet. Uh, currently, at this exact moment in time, it is money locked uh, by five dollars by uh, this thing, the Takashaka pet right here. Uh, ends up just giving a little bit extra stats. Uh, once you get it, you'll have two to all stats. And once fully maxed, you'll have five to all stats for the uh, Takashaka. Uh, however, this pet will be available for free. Uh, you just have to wait about a couple weeks or a couple months. I forget how it currently works in the current state of the game. I want to say it's about a six week delay. Uh, but if I recall in the past, they actually like immediately added these to drop people as soon as the Legend Reborn ended. But I believe in current state of game, it's like six weeks after the fact. Regardless, you will be able to get this from Standard Gnome. So whenever you do PvP or Arena, and by that I mean PvP, uh, you'll be able to have a chance of getting a pet gnome. And uh, whenever you get a pet gnome, it goes across your entire guild for an hour. And there will be a chance about six weeks from now, if not instantly after this event, that you'll be able to go and have a very, very small chance to get the Takashaka. It's the same rate as every other pet, but of course there are a billion and a half pets in that drop table right now. Hopefully they'll add some kind of way to, you know, target pets in the future and similar. But this thing will be available for free, uh, as is essentially every pet that, pet that has stats, with the exception currently being PvP pets, which have their own, like, uh, <laughs> system going on right now. But aside from that one exception of PvP pets, and I guess Underworld pets as well, because they have their own system as well. And I guess Starry pets, they have their own system as well. <laughs> but anyways, basically, if a pet has stats... <laughs> They generally have some kind of consistent way of being able to be gotten into the future. Uh, so even though he's currently slightly money locked, um, you don't have to spend money to get him. You're just probably going to have to wait several months to a year before you eventually get him in the pet drop table. Uh, not because he's taken that long to be added, just the sheer chance of eventually getting him as uh, the drop that you get from a pet rescue uh, across your guild. And being logged on during when that actually happens, because it could still happen and you'd just not be around. But anyways, let's go add this to the teams. I just realized I accidentally got rid of the thing. Uh, also, I'm definitely going to go type in Taka at some point to try to find this thing, but it's a uh, Tak Shaka. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's go see what this can do. Uh, for this initial team here, also this is why I wanted three, by the way. Um, I will be showing this with Tesla for the copy paste. So if you try copy pasting this team, it's going to be the Tesla version. I'm just doing Stellarx initially because why not? Uh, but we'll be doing Tesla after just to, for once, see how much of a difference it is with Tesla. Uh, but also because uh, it's a lot cheaper <laughs> to end up doing it that way. Obviously, a lot more people will have Tesla than um, Stellar X, of course. But uh, yeah, let's go see what we can do. Let's just go load up into a explore here. And uh, yeah, let's go give it a shot. See what we can do with this new Mythic. Uh, okay, so first things first, we're going to be trying this with Stellar X. So, of course, uh, main gimmick that we're utilizing here with pretty much all three of these teams for the most part. Well, I guess two of these three teams is definitely going to be the wild card mechanic. You may have noticed uh, we have an Empower Stellar X on our team right now. <laughs> So we just do that, do it again, boom. Oh, he didn't extra turn on his own ability. What are you doing? We had to start of every single turn, uh, given that we have three of them and it stacks. Uh, we are creating three wild cards, which obviously is not exactly uh, an Empower Stellarix, but uh, it's pretty close. Uh, and then let's go test with Tes uh, Tesla. Unfortunately, Tesla does guarantee enter turn. Uh, though, of course, you could put anything here. Could be Tesla, could be Stellarix, could be Diamantina. Uh, whatever you have, put it there. It'll do good. Uh, just find your biggest damage source. And uh, the main reason I actually wanted to do it with Stellarix and or Diamantina is they cover every color. And of course, since this wild card covers every color, you're going to be getting really random colors. And as you saw, all three of our wild cards got matched. We didn't get to determine a single one with how we move it into a four times or anything like that. It's going to happen pretty often when we're creating these three. And because of that, I do believe it's going to be a little bit better running with like Stellarix or something. But uh, it happens every single turn, so we can kind of just stack it a little bit. Go for a Tesla, go for a little bit of true damage. I just want to go for these first. Uh, oh yeah, we actually get to target which one we want to go for too. And honestly, his extra turn rate, not too bad. Uh, it is doing a, a lot of gym spam after all, so that's not bad at all. Maybe we should go for a Tesla, boom. Oh, that's not enough, really? Okay, well, fine. Oh no, you got a summon too. Uh, but honestly, these guys, uh, I'm actually surprised. Is really 20 mix that good for extra turning? I don't recall. Well, I guess it's because it's double color. I'm so used to using a mix of like skull and color when using like wild king, wild queen. 
So yeah, I guess it actually does, because comparing it to the weapon, which we actually do show in one of these other teams when we go down a little bit, uh, compared to the weapon, um, yeah, this has pretty high extra turn chances. It's running like, what, 24-24 and you get it fully maxed, so yeah, it would make sense that a 2020 would also be pretty good at uh, extra turning. But yeah, let's go try it with Stellarx again. Uh, the copy paste for this will be uh, Tesla specifically. Uh, if you're looking for in description, but of course, if you have Stellarx, if you have Diamantina, put it there. Uh, unfortunately, you can't run this with Wand. This has to be a damage source. I guess you could still do Wand there if you really want to, but ideally, you would want to be a damage source. All right, this is the first time we really missed with the wild cards, but because we're using Stellarx, we can just take whatever. Uh, every mana feeds into it, so uh, the following uh, Terra card, or not Terra card, the following wild card will get us all the mana we need. Uh, if that somehow fails, we have another, another one. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, not full mana there. Of course, at this point, we are using entirely our only mana source as um, the um, wild cards here. And of course, if one ends up reviving or surviving for some reason, we could easily just go with the Takashaka, kill it out, we're good to go. But uh, that's the team. And honestly, not too bad. Uh, I could see this being okay. Is it worth getting three of these just to do this mechanic, though? Probably not. But that's why we have a two version that we're going to be showing soon. But anyways, let's go do the pure Mrs. Scales team. So this is going to basically be the team when you're under a restriction, if we have like a Mrs. Scales event week, if we have some kind of other weird game mode, journey event, anything else. Uh, this is probably the team you're going to run if you have to go either Naga. Oh, actually, I just realized something. Uh, Vinoxia is not a Naga. Uh, it actually counts as only Dragon, surprisingly. Uh, whereas this Mythic counts as Divine Naga. So this actually wouldn't be a pure Naga team, oddly enough. Uh, I guess you could double Takashaka then. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, this actually isn't pure Naga. It is pure Mrs. Scales, which is what the title thing is there. Uh, so if you have, like, a title, uh, like, for example, for Mrs. Scales event week, you can run this in Underspire, for example. But, yeah, this is not pure Naga, as Vinoxia is only a dragon, unfortunately. But, of course, main premise with this team, um, get Merilith to full mana, cast the Merilith, win. Um, and uh, we just keep cycling these two back and forth. The whole premise here is cast uh, Takashaka, cast Vinoxia, cast Vinoxia, cast Takashaka, keep going back and forth. If you somehow fail, use your other two mana accumulators, rinse repeat till enemy dead. Uh, and that's pretty much all we have to do here. And uh, definitely the core of this team, if you need something really cheap, it's just going to be Vinoxia into the new uh, Mythic. Uh, it's the easiest combination you can end up doing. And uh, generally going to be the main way that you're going to build him in most teams, especially if you only have one copy. Uh, but next, let's go do a little bit of a mix. Let's go the Vinoxia, Tesla, and uh, Double Takashaka. Kind of go into a little bit of a mix of, honestly, everything that we showed so far. So let's see what it does all together. It's also a decently cheap team in the sense that uh, ignoring the two Mythics on the team that are both available right now in the drop table that you can potentially get double at the same time. <laughs> but uh, it takes about a thousand keys if you're doing a uh, gem key or something. But anyways, um... But yeah, uh, uh, ignoring the Mythic, uh, it's just two Legends. It's just Phenoxia and Tesla. Uh, let's see. And te uh, both Legends, you would generally already have two, particularly Tesla. Phenoxia, I don't feel like as many people rush it, but um, it is a pretty solid true damager. I'm personally not a fan of using it, but this in this context of this kind of team, it would definitely encourage me to use it a lot more, that's for sure. As uh, Honestly, this is a pretty fun Mythic. I do enjoy it. Um... We probably want to cast this the other way around. So let me go for you first. So far, he has almost not missed a single extra turn. As I, <laughs> of course, I would start saying that as, as, as we miss our extra turn. But yeah, he has almost never really missed. It's amazing how much, like, two more gem spawn does compared to Vinoxia. Because I feel like whenever I use Vinoxia in the past, and one of the reasons I don't like to use it. Also, why did I do that? We should have just went for the thing. But we still kill it. Uh, I, I feel like Tesla, I mean, uh, I feel like Vinoxia always misses whenever I try to use it. Oh, a Mimic battle. You know, yeah, well, sure, why not? We'll go for it. Uh, watch us fail with this battle. <laughs> watch him devour everything. Uh, unfortunately, unlike Megavore, it does not have Impervious. I didn't really mention the other two traits, but uh, the only other relevant thing it has is 30% score reduction. However, unlike um, Megavore, of which it has a pretty similar ability to, just with extra turn potential, uh, it does not have Impervious. That's one thing that it's really missing. Um, obviously, it doesn't necessarily need that, especially in the context of how you're going to be using it most of the time for its wildcard mechanic. And if you are, then you know Impervious isn't really going to do much in that kind of circumstance. However, uh, it is a little unfortunate, as you can get stunned away off this uh, wild card mechanic. So if they do have a stun mechanic, um, be wary of that. Uh, you might need a cleanse on your team. Uh, none of the teams that we're showing here are using a cleanse. One of the easiest way to fix this is do Beatrix. It actually uses both the two colors that he... <gasps> horde Mim Oh, there's nowhere we're going to pull a double mythic and get the horde thing. But yeah, one team I actually don't show here that, honestly, I kind of want to build a fourth team on the fly right now. You know what we're going to do? Do so. I did not show a... Oh, also, why is he here? <laughs> Wait, I didn't even mean to do this earlier. Wait, okay, you know what? Yeah, we'll build one on the fly. Why not? 
But um, I didn't build a Beatrix version because one issue that this guy is going to have, um, most so in the situation of they have an Elementalist on their team, is, although I guess Beatrix also gets stunned by that, but oh, well, we're still going to run it this way. You know what? We can do it with Wand. Yeah, let's build like a, a super... Um, yeah, let's go build like super anti-clan. So we're going to go like Takshaka. We're going to throw a Beatrix in there. We're going to throw a Wand. Uh, that's just so we cover every color to go with them. And honestly, I kind of want to go with second Takashaka, but uh, I also kind of want to make the team cheaper for people that only get one. Uh, though I do advise getting two. I don't really advise getting three, but I would say if you have the resources to get two, well, definitely get at least one. <laughs> He's definitely a mythic you want to go for uh, if you don't always go for every single mythic. This is definitely a go for mythic. Um, but yeah, I would say two if you have the resources, might as well. Uh, if you're still trying to get most of the things within the game, probably skip trying to get two. But uh, I, I still want to put just a second one there. I, I think I'm about to. <laughs> no, let's just put like Tesla or something. Uh, she's just so much true damage. Uh, you know what? Let's go Venoxia. Venoxia is like, if you're in doubt of what to run with one, just put a Venoxia with it. It's going to be fine. They're literally made to like synergize with each other. So might as well. Yeah, that's going to be our team then. Wand, uh, which covers also every color. So we got that covered. If you don't have uh, Diamantina or uh, Stellarex currently, I uh, just need to get the Lover's Card from the Volky Drop people. If you don't have that, just wait till the next Volt Grind or Volt Weekend to grind for that. I think it's on the 22nd of this month, uh, right around the corner, if they don't change it. Uh, a couple weeks from now. Obviously, we just had one, so a little a ways away. But uh, every single one with how commonly they happen now, every four weeks, uh, they're never too long of a wait. Anyways, and of course, you can get uh, Volkies when it's not Volt Event. It's just uh, a lot less. <laughs> Compared to Vault Events. What do I even want banner here? I guess green... green. I was going to go green-blue, but then I don't want to go minus brown. Um, I kind of want to go double green. You know, I, I, I'm just going to double green banner. <laughs> I don't want to minus something here, I don't think. Oh, I forgot to minus something. I guess minus red. Yeah, let's go to that. Um, yeah, someone's Vault PC and banner. Everyone has that. There we go. All right. Uh, there we go. All right. Let's go run with this. Run with this. And of course, if you want to make this team super cheap, you can just literally spam a couple of Beatrix on a team. Or like Marilyn, a couple of Beatrix. Uh, but yeah, let's go with this. Uh, what should we name this team? I guess, um, Cleanse? Cleanse, uh, uh, the Taka Cleanse. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go with that. Uh, okay, let's see what this could do. Let's go do it against the Horde Mimic Battle. Oh, DD doesn't have anything bad, right? Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> he doesn't have anything that should be too annoying for this team. But anyways, that would be really funny if we actually pull it. I was just talking about on stream the other day, actually a couple times on streams lately, that I, I think we've gone, like, two years now <laughs> or something without a Horde Mimic. We got two within, like, the first month or two. And I, I think we've legitimately gone, like, over two years now, or however long it's been. It's been a long while since we've actually gotten a Horde Mimic drop. They've been out for quite a while now. And I know I've been doing a lot less Explore, but still. <laughs> I feel like we've gotten, like, none, none. Um... You know what? I think it's actually better to just go for distribution here and kill with Beatrix. That should be enough damage. Alright, can we just pull something amazing here? That'd be great. Please give us like a 5 Nisha drop. Come on. Moment of truth. Could you imagine? No. Aw, oh, we got nothing. Sad. Completely scammed. The worst three. Though, in all fairness, I do actually need those. <laughs> because I keep depending on those other orbs to upgrade everything. I actually need some of that low rarity stuff to actually upgrade all the lower ones. Now that kingdoms aren't requiring like 20 gold elite level stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, let's go back to, I guess, the original team one last time, just to show triple wild card with Tes uh, Stellarx. Obviously, you could run Tesla, you could run anything there. Um, but yeah, let's go t let's do it with this. But I, I, I like the potential of just having him power Stellarx. Obviously, it's not always going to work. Actually, most of the time, it's probably not going to work. However, when it does... <laughs> oh, but Stellarx, you need to actually land, though. <laughs> You can't just do that. Luckily, he can just get his mana right back as if it's nothing. Uh, you don't even need a mana accumulator when you're running this. I, I think that's the most interesting part about this. You don't even need a designated mana accumulator. Like, we were doing it with Marilith, that one weapon, a few other things earlier. But if you're running this many, like two or three, especially three, um, you don't need a, a, a mana accumulator there. It just does it on its own. It covers everything already. It's really nice. The only problem is I'm almost wild carding too much right now. <laughs> Every single turn we end up getting that. We actually don't need that much. We already have enough. Let me just go for a double tap, yeah. Yeah, and he, he doesn't even need to be used for his ability. Like, you can, obviously, if you're going down, like, the Vinoxia route. But uh, it's definitely not needed. I'll go back to this one, I think. Vinoxia with the other thing. <laughs> get that Tesla there in, in there for the finisher. <laughs> Can we get a nice wild card here? Uh, yeah, it's still wild card. <laughs> it didn't actually change from that happening. Alright, we're just going to wait till the next turn to get the rest up. 
It feels weird not covering every color because I'm so used to wild cards. Like, oh yeah, it'll cover it. But uh, yeah, it won't if we <laughs> if we don't cover every color. Yeah, honestly, he's really solid. But it's mostly for its final mechanic. But its ability is still fine. The biggest issue with spamming its ability, though, is um, is a really high mana cost. While there is a lot of gem spawn, you also have a really high mana cost to go with it. So a lot of times he isn't going to give all of his mana back. However, him plus a Vinoxia is generally going to give all of his mana back. But him himself, if you're expecting him to like infinite loop into himself, that's probably not going to happen most of the time. Unless you count like the wild card that you get after, I guess that could push it over. But as far as like his initial mana, while he can loop into himself, it's not going to be something you could depend on necessarily doing so. But overall, um, yeah, I like this mythic 100%. Go get this thing. Uh, it is really, really, really good. Uh, fun wild card mechanic, uh, potentially even worth getting two of. Uh, I wouldn't bother with three, but you could. <laughs> they, they teams do exist for it. Um, put three with uh, just whatever you have. Diamantina, Stellarix, Tesla, whatever you want. Uh, could even run one there if you really want to. If you just want to kill all completely with Takashaka, uh, which is an option. Uh, I do feel like this could be a little slow if you go down that route, but it is definitely a thing that can be done. It's not going to be that slow, but um, it doesn't scale that well unless you put like a Tesla or something. It's actually why we're putting like Tesla on a lot of them. Uh, well, obviously for Explorer 12, it's not too bad, but you know, if you bring that to like Explorer level or, or faction level like 400, 500, I'm uh, going to struggle a bit more there compared to if it has a Tesla or something on the team. So it really just depends. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's the Mythic. If you have any teams of your own, feel free to leave it in the comment section below or any questions. Also, feel free to leave a like on the video. Helps a lot and is greatly, greatly appreciated. Best of luck if you're going to be trying for this thing. Hopefully, you'll get as lucky as we just did. Uh, though, do expect it will take about a thousand keys if you're doing like gem keys or uh, seal keys. And if you're trying to do something like glory keys, it could easily take about 10,000 on average per thing. So do be wary of that before you go and <laughs> open any keys expecting to get that lucky on it because we definitely got way above average luck there. But uh, glad to finally see it for once because I feel like we've gone over drop rate for quite a few recently. So uh, finally, the one that we actually wanted three of, we got all three before even getting the drop rate for one, which is pretty insane. But anyways, guys, have a wonderful weekend. Best of luck. He'll be available all the way until next Friday's reset. So you still have a good uh, solid six days or so to go get it. And best of luck we do. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.